everybody. Welcome to this flute cast. A rather unusual instrument I've got here. Um, the title of this flute cast is Solo Drone, and I'm trying to play a drone sound on this theremin. It's a really cool instrument, courtesy of John Norris, and um, it's an electronic instrument. It was one of the first, and may, maybe the first electronic instrument, and it's got a loop on the left which controls volume. I'm not actually touching the instrument. The closer I get to the instrument, though, the quieter it gets. If I take my hand away, it gets very loud. And the other hand is pitch. The closer I get, the higher the pitch to the antenna here. All right. So it's a great instrument for a drone, a long-held tone, if you can manage to concentrate, maybe with a little vibrato. I can hold pitch, and we've actually done this in workshops. We've actually uh, gotten somebody on the theremin and somebody else playing a solo on native flute over this long-held tone, and the person on the theremin is going to try to hold the bottom note on the flute instrument. So, um, we're not actually going to do it in this flute cast. I tried looping this earlier, and it didn't work so well, the act of looping. Um, really kind of messes me up and I'm kind of an amateur on this instrument, but I just wanted to show off the instrument and actually let me turn it around and the front of it, as long as I hold my hand here, you know, there it is. There's a really low sound. You can hear that. And it's got a few controls up here and it's just got an audio out and the antenna plugins. And that's the theremin. We're actually going to come back and look at um, uh, quite a few instruments that you can do drone sounds on, and <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, actually uh, do them. Uh, uh, we have a, a number of backing tracks we're providing, so you can actually try um, all these uh, all these accompaniment instruments on backing tracks we're providing. And uh, I'm going to do it in one key flute. I'll probably do it on an F sharp minor flute, um, but we're actually providing uh, the backing tracks on an F sharp. Uh, for a G flute and an A flute. So three flutes, and we're providing a number of backing tracks uh, to practice playing uh, solos over drones. So um, we'll get started with the instruments. So playing over a drone is, is part of a, a lot of world traditions. Um, uh, in particular, uh, there's a tradition of Armenian dudukes, um, where uh, duduk is a, a double reed uh, wind instrument, and uh, you'll often see the soloist playing duduk over a second person standing off to their side, almost motionless, playing a drone continuously using circular breathing. If you want an unbelievable album, um, Jivan Gasparian, I Will Not Be Sad in This World. And it's all this Armenian duduk played over a long-held tone, a drone sound. And the drone is just... <laughs> continuously using circular breathing. It's very powerful. The first thing I'd like to do, and maybe the easiest thing, is a lot of synthesizers around. Um, have the synthesizer just put on a pad setting. You know, these are electronic keyboards, right? And so have them put on a pad setting, uh, and what we've actually done is recorded that. Uh, I'm gonna play the one um, in F sharp, but uh, the backing tracks are available in F sharp, G, and A minor. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> you can um, just play the backing track and play over it. And I'm gonna play the F sharp backing track, and the first thing I'm gonna do is try to get in tune with the drone sound. The drone is playing on my bottom note, and I'm going to try to use my breath pressure to bring the flute in tune with it, listening to the sound. I'm listening into the, uh, uh, in these earbuds here, and uh, we're going to really try to get the breath pressure that we think is most consonant, most in tune with the backing track, and hold that breath pressure for the rest of the solo, because we're playing with another pitched instrument and we want to be in tune with it. So let's hear how it sounds. This is a synth pad. Uh,
often in these situations, I'm often playing uh, long tones. I'm often holding this, and then um, that's a great way to start, and then you can go off into any direction you want, and then maybe at the end come back and play long tones. Um, this is a continuous, um, you know, piece over a continuous drone. Another way you can approach this is um, to alternate playing solo over the drone of another instrument and then give them a turn to play solo and you hold the drone. This is a great duet form. Um, and that, uh, in, that, uh, in that mode, we call it melody, hold your last note. It's a great thing to do in uh, flute circles, uh, a duet form. Everybody can do it. Play anything you want and then hold your last note. Low notes work better. Okay, hold the bottom note, that's great, maybe one note up, and then the other person solos and uses that as their drone note, and you go back and forth. Another great instrument is a crystal bowl. Uh, if you know somebody who has uh, these cool bowls that they strike them and they're using leather-wrapped strikers to keep the sound going, uh, that's a great instrument. Uh, I'm actually simulating that here in the backing track, again using a synth. The synth uh, that I have, the electronic keyboard I have, has a, uh, a bowl sound. So we're using that for the backing track. Sounds like this. Both of these instruments have been long held tones. What happens if you have instruments that don't have the ability to have a long sustained tone? Pianos are fantastic instruments, but they can't really hold a continuous sustained tone. You can simulate it with a piano simply by holding a repeated, very simple chord, maybe the bottom note and maybe the note that match the pitch that matches this note on the keyboard and if you don't know what notes those are that's fine just play it for the keyboard player this note and this note and they will find it and mm, it works best if they're doing it on the low notes and we're going to hear that on uh, on this uh, together with this f sharp flute here we are and notice they're playing it repeatedly they have the sustain pedal down, which, which sustains the note, but they're playing it in this kind of a repeated pattern. It's not exactly even, not exactly precisely timed, so we're kind of playing between the notes. instrument that doesn't have a sustained tone. Now we have a classical guitar, a nylon string guitar, and they're just playing an open chord again using this note and this note. Now for a different kind of a drone, we have a, a breath flute. This is a 3D printed flute. Uh, the head joint is 3D printed. Put that, take that off your 3D printer and put it on a tube of a uh, length of PVC. Just the right length will get you an F sharp in this case, since we're doing this video in F sharp. And uh, I'm just gonna play a drone on this. And you can play over it on your flute. I'm also gonna add some, uh, some rhythm. 
uh, to this because breath flutes are particularly good uh, for rhythm. But I'll just start with a, a low drone. breath flute if you're interested in the breath flute uh, go to breathflute.com it's a free download of the uh, file that you need to uh, uh, create the uh, the head joint um, breathflute.com and of course we want to demonstrate playing a drone on a flute you can just hold the bottom note uh, it's often best to try to hold it without vibrato just hold a steady tone and uh, let the soloist play over it. And uh, as we said before, you can go back and forth in a duet form, playing one person plays the solo and then holds the drone, and the other person uh, uh, plays the solo over that drone, and then they hold their drone. So I'm just gonna do this with a loop pedal. I'm going to do a solo and then come down and hold my tone. And then uh, let me switch over a couple of things here. And I'll do a solo, hold a drone, and then play a solo over my drone. with a flute. And now we have maybe the ultimate drone instrument, the Shruti Box. They come from India and they're laid out like a keyboard and you just open the levers you want for the uh, flute that you're playing and it provides a drone instrument just by squeezing it. Uh, and this is the way I was taught to play it by Ron Kravitz, uh, my friend uh, who imports these Shruti Boxes and uh, he likes to play it with the Shruti Box sitting on his leg so that he can hear the instrument and also the people he's playing for can hear this instrument. Uh, I'm gonna play it a little bit, but we're actually gonna fade out and go to uh, uh, Moto Ozaki. Moto Ozaki uh, has recorded a beautiful uh, piece in uh, my front studio over there. You'll see the other half of uh, where I play every day and uh, Moto will uh, use this Shruti box and uh, that will close out this flute cast. I'll just play this instrument. And you'll hear it. <laughs> 